Hey guys, what's up? Today we'll be checking out the Revolt ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100. I'm going to teach you guys how to install it, obviously, so stay tuned for that. So first and foremost, obviously we've got to have a rooted Samsung Galaxy S2 GD i9100, that's the international variant. And of course we've got to download the ROM itself, which is the Revolt ROM, it's 4.4. I just downloaded it and I believe it's about 488 megabytes in size, which is kind of heavy. Nevertheless, um, first step we're going to do, we're going to connect your, my Samsung Galaxy S2 and your Samsung Galaxy S2 via micro USB cable. So we've got we to transfer the ROM itself to the phone. So we're going to copy and paste it onto the SD card. Paste it there, give it a few seconds. So once it's done copying to the internal storage or to the SD card, you can safely remove the micro USB. So once we've transferred the Revolt uh, ROM file to the phone, we have to fully uh, turn off the Samsung Galaxy S2 and of course boot into recovery mode. So once it's off, we have to press volume up, home button and power button all for 10 seconds or so and the screen should flash twice. So that's the first flash. And there we go with the second flash. So any second right now will be booting into recovery mode. And as you can see, I'm using a different kernel this time and recovery mode. So prior to installing the ROM itself, we've got to do a factory reset or wipe data partition and a wipe cache. I'm going to head over to wipe here. I'm going to select wipe to factory reset. It's going to delete the data partition and will also wipe the cache partition. So once that's done, head back to the menu, select install, and we're going to select revolt. All right. All right. So swipe, 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 <laughs> swipe to confirm flash. Okay, so give this roughly about a couple of minutes to install. And of course, this might be different on your phone as I'm currently using a different kernel over here in a recovery, a different recovery mode. But nevertheless, it's the same procedure. All I have to do is to do a wipe data partition and a wipe cache prior to installing. And of course, installing the ROM and then doing another wipe data partition and wipe cache after installing. So I'll be back once it's done installing. Awesome, it's done installing, just took roughly about two minutes. We're gonna do another wipe uh, factory reset. That's a wipe data partition and a wipe cache on other recovery modes. And once that's done, we can head back to the main menu and we're gonna reboot or restart system. So of course, this is gonna be the first boot, so this will probably take a few minutes to boot up, so be patient with that. So I'm just sharing with you guys the boot up sequence of the Re Revolt uh, ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2, and I'll be back once it's fully booted up. So it finally booted up after two to three minutes, and we've got here about Team Revolt, we're gonna close that. And we have here the setup screen. This is based on an ALKP build, and let's check it out. So let's start, I can skip that. I can set up the Wi-Fi later on, skip anyway. Next, next. All right. Next, done. Next, finish. So let's just see how it looks like. And of course, I read also that it is gonna be paranoid Android here, so you can play around with the different uh, user interfaces from a tablet and to a phone. I also got to choose a launcher. Let's try the Revolt launcher. Okay. Here we go, guys. We got the Revolt ROM working here. So as you can see, Pretty looks like a standard vanilla Android uh, user experience. Of course, with added apps here and customizations. Let's check out system settings. Of course, we've got the ROM control, Revolt control, 
customizations, hybrid settings. I believe that's where the Paranoid Android is. Let's check out the version. So Revolt Je Jelly Bean, of course, 4.2.2. And yeah, this is the latest version of the Revolt Jelly Bean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 4.4. And uh, we'll be, I'll be having a full review of the ROM, the Revolt ROM, in about a week's time. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Wired Mash. Don't forget to visit wiredmash.com. And most of all, thanks for watching.